The skill of short form video editing and content repurposing is in huge demand right now. It's a highly sought after skill that you can either use to start a short form video content agency or use it in your own content marketing strategy for your business or your personal brand. By the end of this video, you're gonna be able to edit your short form content in a free, easy and professional way. And in this video, we're gonna be using CapCut for desktop. It's completely free, so you're gonna to need to download that before we start. There's a massive amount of features, but I'm gonna show you the most important ones, the fundamental ones. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of a video, a short form video that I've made myself, and I'm gonna go through everything from the animations to the audio to the captions and everything in between. And you don't need any pre-existing knowledge or video editing skills to start. So the best way to teach this is to give you a real life example of a video edit. So the first thing you need to do is drag your video that you wanna edit into this box up here, or you can drag it straight into the track down here. So ignore all the other stuff that you see here, all these features that have been turned off. I'm gonna show you those in a second. They're part of the edit that I made. I'm gonna show you how to do those individually. But for now, we're gonna look at this big block of video here. And if we select it, I'm gonna show you how to split the video in half. So to do that, you just need to click on the video and you need to click split. And then we can see the video is split in two. So if you had your own video in two different parts, they would look like this when you drag them in. And all you need to do is click on, you can pinch and zoom in here, by the way. And all you need to do is click on this and you can drag it and shorten it and cut it. And obviously you can adjust it however you want and you can stitch your video together. Once you, it, it automatically clicks onto each part so you can just rearrange them. And then once you have the structure of your video, we're gonna move on to the next step. So to show you quickly what the first 10 seconds of this video unedited is like, and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the edits. So let me just open this up and click play. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. In most cases, it doesn't even- So okay, very boring, not a lot going on, just me talking. Now I'm gonna turn on all of the tracks for the edit that we're gonna be adding. So just so you know how to do this yourself, to turn these tracks off, all you need to do is click on the icon, the audio icon for the audio ones. And when you scroll up to the video ones or the, the visual ones, should I say, even if that's text, you just click on the I symbol here. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what it's like with all the edits on that we're gonna be doing. And then we're gonna go through each of these edits. I'm gonna show you how to do each of them individually. So let's just hit play. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. In most cases, it doesn't even say T on the packaging anymore. It will say something like relax, energize. So as you can see, there's a lot of animations, a lot of sound effects, a lot of text, um, and some zooms and stuff like that in there as well. And we're gonna get into that now. I'm gonna show you how to do them all individually one by one. But the first thing you might want to do when you import the video, sometimes it can be a little too bright or a little too dark, depending on what you want to do. If you want to add a filter or something like that. So it's not, you might want to do that in all cases, but just in case you do, I'm going to show you here because this video, for example, was a little too bright when I shot it during the day. So to fix it, we just click on adjustments up here in the top bar and we select custom adjustment and click the plus. And now we can see it's added an adjustment to the video. If we come over here to the top right, we can actually make our edits. So I can change the temperature of it so I can lower it down a little bit. You can change the hue, you can change the brightness, you can change the saturation, you can do all of that stuff in here. So for here, I'm just gonna lower down the temperature a little bit so it's not so bright. And then if I go back here and click play. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. In most cases, we can see the shift there. Now all we need to do to make this the full length of the video is to click on it and drag it for as long as we want to the end of the video. So as I said, you might need to do that step and if you don't, you can just skip it completely. But now we're gonna look at the next step, which is adding our captions. So to add captions to our video, all we need to do is click on text up in the top left, go down to, uh, go down to sorry, auto captions and select create. Now we can see the auto captions have imported, but when, you, when I click play, I'll show you, they don't look great, they look terrible in fact. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year You can degree. see they're very, they're cases, very plain, they're small and they're white and they're just, packaging anymore. you know, they're not something like so what we wanna do is we wanna fix that. So we'll go back here and all we need to do is click on any of these captions, the individual captions, and here we want to select apply to all. This is because we want this edit to apply to all of the captions across the entire video, not just the individual words or sentences. So here we want to just set our size so it's consistent across the whole video. Obviously we can make some individual words bigger or smaller later on, but we want some just to get the consistency done first. So I'll just set it to 22 for now. Then we want to change our font. Obviously, whatever style you want, whatever preference you want here, I'm just gonna select Rockwell because it's the, one of the most recently used. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna drag this up to the center because in a lot of short form videos on um, YouTube, Shorts, and Insta uh, TikTok, sorry, for example, the description is down the bottom here. So you won't be able to see the captions if you keep it too low. So put it in the center. And then if we scroll down, we can add a style to it as well. I usually just like to put a black line around it just so it pops a little more. Now, obviously you can change the color here as well if you want. For now, I'm gonna leave it as white and I'm gonna change the color of individual words in a minute. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. 
Now, obviously we can see these are all really big long sentences and they look absolutely terrible in the video. So next we're gonna fix that. So what you wanna do again is you wanna click on any of these captions here. And then up here in the top right, we select captions. And then now in here, we can actually, if we just click on any, before any of the words and hit enter, it will divide those sentences out. So now we can see the first sentence is just three words. Now, when I start a video, I like every word to pop up individually. And then whatever the end of the sentence, whatever the end of the hook is, I usually have that as kind of a full sentence. And I will show you by, I'll show you now what I mean by that. So the first Key few packaging. words will always be divided out individually. So again, to do that, we click on the caption, we click on one of the words, we hit enter and we divide them out. So now if we go back and play this, we can see. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. Then a four year degree is the end of the hook. So before that, it's very punchy, it's very quick and it grabs their attention. So as I said, you only wanna really you know, spend most of your time focusing on the early stages of the video. Later on in the video, like this long sentence here, further down, you don't have to divide all the words out if you want. You can just break the sentence up a little bit smaller. So you know, it's a little more digestible and it moves a little quicker when they're watching the video. Now we wanna make these pop a little bit more. So to do that, we can add some color, we can change the size and we can add an animation. So to do that, we're gonna pick one of the words. Let me just see, pick one of them here. So key packaging can teach you more. You wanna see what one kind of naturally wants to be, what words you should naturally emphasize. You don't wanna change the color of them all or make them all pop because then if everything tries to stand out, nothing will stand out. So in this example, we'll start with the word packaging, the second word, and we're gonna add a animation to that. So to do that, we click on packaging. And then up here in the top right, we select animation and we can add an intro animation and an outro animation. So if we click on any of them, it shows us a preview of what it's gonna look like. E -package. E -package. Here I'm gonna select a blur sliding in from the right as the intro. E and then for the outro, we can do maybe something like rotate. Just play around with these and see what feels good and what looks, what looks good. Now, as we can see, the word packaging comes very quickly. So it's hard to get two animations in there. So what you can do is there's a duration here you can set. So you can speed up that animation. So if I pull that back, e it all happens a lot quicker. So that's the, that's the outro and then the intro. I want to pull that back as well, make that a little bit e shorter. And then if you play it, T packaging can teach you more. T packaging can teach you more about it slides in and out very quickly. T packaging can teach you more about digital. The next word we're going to change is digital marketing. So we're going to select that there. We're going to add an animation. I'll just add an intro for this one. Digital. So we'll just select this one. It's called elastic something. I'm not even sure. So let's just play that. Digital marketing looks perfect. And now the four year degree is the end of the hook. So I want to add some emphasis to this one. So for this one, I'll do something like bounce. So it bounces in, kind of emphasizes it. And then for the outro, we'll choose something like glitch. Your degree. Okay, so let's have a quick look and see how it's coming along. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. In so it's looking a little bit better already. Now there's a few edits, a few more edits we're gonna make here. So what we wanna do is we'll go back on these three animated words and we're gonna edit them again. So if I select the four year degree one, I wanna make this piece of text a little bit bigger. So what I wanna do is unselect apply to all. That's very important to do that. Otherwise it's gonna mess up all of the captions. It's gonna add this edit to all of them. So once you do that, you highlight the text you wanna edit. And again, it's simple. You just go in and you change the size. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. You can obviously rotate it as well here if you want to make it pop a little bit more. And then we can change the color as well. So I'll change the color here to yellow. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. In most. So we're going to go through the other animated ones now. So I'll select digital marketing here. And now to show you, if you wanted to just make one word bigger, all we need to do again is just select one of the words, go to font size and make one of the words larger. Change the color. And again, we can just change the color of one of the words if we really wanted. And then we'll go back to packaging and do the same. And again, we'll make the font of this one slightly larger and we'll rotate it as well. Let's go back to digital marketing and we'll rotate that one too. And now let's just play through and see what it's like. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. So that obviously four year degree doesn't look great. So it actually just pretty straightened that one back up because you don't want two of them obviously, you know, going in the same direction. So let's just play it again. T packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. And so you can see it's already looking a lot better. So basically all of those features I've just showed you are 99% of what people are doing in shorts. You just need to, you know, create your own style, use your own font and play around with, you know, different animations, different angles that you have them. So say like at the start, you could have every word you know, maybe every couple of words a different size, then you just rotate the word, you know, as I said, very simple, change the color. Let's just change this one here to that and then play it. T packaging can teach you more. 
you know, and it's just like you haven't all of them coming in at different angles and it's just, it's a little more exciting for the viewer in the first couple of seconds. So the next thing we're going to look at is the third track, which is going to be our zooms. Because you want to pull them into the video as soon as it loads up. When somebody's on the shorts feed and they're swiping, 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 you just want to like try to suck them into the video in a way. And that's, that's going to be for the first like two seconds. So to do that, we can do it in two ways. We can click our original video down here. And then if we go up to animation in the top right, and if we scroll down, we can select something like zoom out down here. T pack. Now another way we can tackle these zooms later on in the video, because obviously you don't just want to zoom in at the start, then you want to keep the camera moving, keep some, keep it dynamic. So to do that, all you need to do is click on effects up here and scroll down. And there's a huge amount of effects you can play around with in here to change the style of your video. Obviously I'm just gonna, you know, I can't show you them all. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I used in this video that I edited. So to do that, we'll just scroll down until we find a zoom. So there's one here that's called zoom lens that we can use. So I'm going to just drag this into the track here. And you can see now when I play it. Key packaging can teach you more about digital zooms marketing. In again. Now obviously that's zooming in too far. So what we're going to do is click on it and you can select the range as well. So you can have it not zoom in so, you know, so much. And you can also increase the speed of it as well. So as I said earlier on, you want to keep things fast. So we'll shorten the length of the zoom there and move it forward a bit. So it's not overlapping with the other one which you can if you want, but you just have to play around with it and see what kind of looks well. So if we hit play there again. packaging can teach you more about digital marketing. We can see there's a couple of zooms happening there. There's two zooms happening very quickly. It's kind of pulling them in, popping them back and pulling them back in. Tea packaging can teach you more about digital marketing. So that looks kind of good. So the next thing we want to do apart from the zoom lens is, as I said, you've got all of these other features up here. I'll just show you like one or two of them for now. You can add glitch then effects and stuff degree. like that as well. Then a four year degree. In most cases, it doesn't even say tea. But again, we're gonna keep it simple for now for this video, play around with whatever you want in there. So let's move on to the next layer here. So under this, we'll add what we call a rebound swing. So up here, you can see again in the effects, you can just drag the rebound swing in here and all this does is it just kind of pans the camera left and right. So we'll shorten that a little bit and I'll just show you how it works. Go digital marketing than a four year degree. In most cases, it's quite subtle there, but you can obviously increase the strength of it. So if I put the strength up just to really show you what it actually does. I'll turn it all the way up and you'll see the camera rocking back left and right when the video starts. So let's just play this and have a quick look. Key packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. Now you can see the camera is bouncing cases, around, it's it rocking, it's a lot more dynamic. Packaging anymore. Now the next track we're going to look at is what might seem like the most complicated, but it's actually the easiest. I'm going to turn them all on here because I've got a lot of them. They're just the animated graphics that pop in. So let's just turn on each track because you've got to drag them onto each track if they're overlapping. So what you want to do is you want to go through your video and take note of anything that can be, you know, you can add a vid visual aid to. So at the start, I say the words tea packaging. So I went down to Canva and I just found a picture of something to do with tea and also a package. And you can see if I go over to media in the top left here, you just drag in all of these, um, all of these graphics. So if we scroll down, we can see there's just a video, sorry, there's just a picture of the package and there is a picture of the tea here. So all you do is click it and you drag it into the track. And once they're dragged into their tracks here, which as you know, as I said, you can just drag them in wherever you want and they overlap themselves. There's two more things that I do. You can click on them, you can drag them around the screen. It's all very simple, very intuitive. You can resize them if you want. And then you can also add animations like you did with the text or anything else. So you click on it, you go up to animation in the top right, and you pick whatever animations you want. So the package has rock vertically as its intro and the outro has a mini zoom. And for the T it has the same. So if you go back here, we can see when we add those in and then we add the animation to them. T packaging can teach you more about digital they marketing pop in. than a four year degree. And, and again, those, you know, the, the T popping in as well. In most cases, the exact same. it doesn't even say T on the packaging. It, it just has different animations. It's just have them sliding in from the right and sliding in from the left. So even though it looks we'll kind of complicated like when you first see it, it's really digest. simple. You're just you're dragging even... the images in and you're adding some animation to them. The final thing you can do now to add another dimension to the video is to add some audio. So here in this video, I've added bell chime and just some swishes and whoosh. So, I mean, basically what you do is you go over to audio up here in the top left and then search for whatever effect you want. So if you want a bell, you just search bell. And we can see there's a bunch of them here and all you need to do is click on them. And you can hear the effect. So in this video, I went for bell chime and a couple of swishes, as I said. So you just click it and you drag it in down here and you can shorten it. You can do whatever you want with it. And then I'll remove the one I had. And if we hit play, e packaging can teach you we can hear, obviously that's a bit loud. So if you wanted to lower the volume down, all we need to do is click on it, go over to audio in the top right here, and we can lower it down with the, the, um, the, the switch here. So if you pull it, we can see down here, it's affecting how, how loud or how quiet it is. So if we play it again, 
Tea packaging can teach you more about tea. It's a lot quieter. So let's just go back and put the one that I had in originally. And I can make this longer as well, as he said, so I wanted to drag it out a bit more. I could tea do packaging can teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. In most cases, it doesn't even. Now, as you probably noticed, all I've done here is when the images come in, when the, Im the animated images are coming in, I'm adding a sound effect and not all the time either. But you, so you can see like, let's go back to the start here. I'm gonna click and see if you notice here. So yeah, when the animations, when you're putting your animations in and you have some sort of effect coming onto the screen, you wanna Key add packaging a sound can effect. teach you more about digital marketing than a four year degree. In most cases, it doesn't even say T on the packaging anymore. It will say some. So what you want to do is every time you have an animation coming into the screen, you want to have some, not every time, but a lot of the time you want to have some sort of sound effect to accompany it. Or say you're telling someone to go to a website, you could come up here to audio and you could search for keyboard and we can click any of them typing on keyboard here. We drag it into the track and you can reduce obviously the length of it and say, so, you know, you just have like a quick three second video of someone typing on a keyboard in a cafe or something like that. Then marketing than a four year degree we can see it can ties the keyboard sound so another thing you're going to want to do as well so as i said about the keyboard effect we we're looking at there so if you go into canva you can find b-roll so just google canva b-roll and you'll find some video footage as well and again you just drag it into the media section up here and you drag it down to a track just like you have with the pictures and if we come up here i'm going to show you now i'm going to play it i added some video as well to add some more i make it a little more dynamic so i'll hit play a sell people tea. The marketers are smart enough to realize when somebody goes to the supermarket, they're not going there to buy tea. They're going there to buy the feeling that tea will give them. So instead of focusing on the features like where the tea came from, what flavor profile it is, they decided to only focus on the desired outcome. Now when someone goes... So as you can see, the video really adds an extra dimension to it as well. And with the video, you can add an intro and an outro animation, just like we did with all the other ones. You click on the video like it's a picture, you go up to animation and you select whatever intro and outro you want. And then when the text is coming into the screen, you can add some more sound effects to it as well. So when these words focus are coming the in, they're features, fading like in, they're fading up and down. And flavor profile and their sound effects. They decided to, to well. only focus on the desired outcome. And that's basically all the features that have been used in this entire video. They're just kind of repeated. All the techniques and tools that you need to know. But there's a few others as well. So if we click on text up here in the top left and go down to text template, we can see it gives us all of these really nice text templates that we can add to our video. These work better in long form content. If you have a chapter or something like that in your video, you can add one of these as the chapter intro. And there's loads of them. So obviously you can go through as well. You can find any sort of style you want. So just give you a really, really fast marketing. example. We'll select this one here. We'll pull it into the track. And then if we click on it, we go up here and we can just change the text. So it says test. Let's change it to bigger test. And then go back, hit play. Key packaging can teach we can you. It pops up. And like anything else, we can just make it bigger. We can move it around. We can, you know, do whatever we want with it really. We can't add an animation to it because it already has an animation. And if you're using something like that, make sure again, accompany it with a sound effect. So you can also add stickers to it as well. And the, the, the way I use the stickers mostly is if I have a tutorial on something, I'll have something like a sticker like this that has an arrow that says here and it's pointing to something. So if we drag that in, like anything, as I said, we can move it around, we can resize it. And now if we hit play, you can see it's going to be most pointing cases, to something. So you'll find a sticker for anything really. So you want to just use them as visual layers. Every couple of seconds, you want to have something popping up on the screen and the shorts to keep somebody's attention. And then very quickly, other things we can do is we can click on effects and you got two type of effects. I showed you one of them earlier. I showed you the video effects where we zoomed in at the start of the video. And if we click on body effects, we can see that we can actually add some animation to myself on the screen when I move. Let's just drag one in here. Say for example, you're making a video about AI and you want to have an effect, you would drag Sorry, one of these cyber ones in, it's, they're under glowing lines. There's, low, there's one for basically anything you want to do. So let me just open this up again and we'll hit play. Degree. In most cases, it doesn't even say T on the packaging anymore. It will say something. Now, another really quick thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to drag in this ro rolling zoom here, which is in effects again. So effects and video effects. And if we scroll down to retro on the left there, we can see this rolling film effects. I'm going to pull this one in here. Let me just delete that one. Now, this is a really nice transition as well. So if you've got a space in your video that, you know, a gap in your video, or maybe, you know, you stitch two videos together and they're not transitioning quite well, this type of effect is perfect for making that look a lot, a lot smoother. So once we have it rolled in, I'm going to go over here to filters and show you a second effect that you can layer on top of it before I show you what they are. You'll go down to something like retro and drag it in. And now let's play this back. Getting to a four year degree. In most cases, it doesn't even say T on the packaging anymore. And we can see if you're stitching two videos together, that will make it look like a smoother transition. 
It's really all just about layering on visual effects to keep people engaged, have different sound effects, have different animations, have different text, just keep things changing. So they're constantly watching the video to see what's gonna happen next. The goal isn't to have it distract from the content, of course, it's just to give them some visual aids to add an extra level of engagement and to keep the video fun and entertaining. So once you finish your video, all you need to do is go up to the top right here and click export. So as I said in the beginning, you can use these skills to start a short form video content agency or a repurposing agency. Or you can also just use them in your own content strategy for your personal brand or online business. If you wanted to start a short form agency with this, for example, all you would need to do is take the skills you have, find some, somebody who has a business or a personal brand on something like Twitter or another platform who are doing long form podcasts. Next, you wanna go and you wanna take the best sections out of their podcasts, the best 30, 40, 50, 60 second sound bites or snippets. And you wanna use the skills you just learned to make good, high quality videos for them completely free. So you can DM them a couple of these videos for free, tell them all the benefits of repurposing their own content to short form content, and tell them that if it's something they wanna pursue in the future, that they can hire your agency to do it. And even if you didn't wanna start an agency, you can still use these skills in your own content creation strategy to make high quality professional short form videos fast and free. For more videos like this in content creation, digital marketing, and starting and growing an online business, make sure to subscribe and go check out my channel. Thanks for watching.